Welcome to On Topic, a series of conversations with experts on issues of importance to Alaska. I'm Jim Johnson, president of the University of Alaska and the host of On Topic. Our mission at the University of Alaska is to serve our state through world-class research, top quality and highly accessible educational programs, and community service. One way we foster these core aspects of our mission is through conversation with distinguished scholars and practitioners. Our guest today is Michael West, Alaska's state seismologist, a UAF research professor, and director of the Alaska Earthquake Center. Welcome to On Topic, Michael. Thank you. Glad you're here. So November 30th, uh, I was in Anchorage that day in a meeting uh, and with a lot of corporate CEOs talking about the university and how the University of Alaska can serve them. And uh, we're on the third floor of a building and all of a sudden the building started to shake. And we're kind of wondering what's going on here. Uh, we pretty quickly all remembered our training and we climbed under the table and rode it out. Uh, and then, yeah, and then quickly got up and thought, wait a second, we've got some responsibilities here, like companies and employees and, and schools and, and that sort of thing to address. So the, the group very, very quickly uh, disbanded to, uh, to get to their work of assessing uh, the damage and then trying to recover. Uh, you were here in Fairbanks that day, right? I was. And what was it like at the Earthquake Center? Uh, what, roughly 7.30 in the morning, I think it was? 8.30? Okay. Yep. 8.30. Yeah. And, you know, I, I feel like a starting gun went off really? at yeah. 8.31 that morning mm -hmm. on a, 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 you know, a journey or a race that hasn't really quite ended yet. Really? But the, uh, I think you hit on really key points after, after you all got up from the, underneath the tables, wherever you were, and started to assess and said, well, what now? What's happening? what's happened exactly. Um, that's the earthquake center's role. So at the same time that you were feeling that, that earthquake was being picked up by sensors, by a whole network of sensors uh, around South Central Alaska. And you know, we began putting together the, the pieces, if you will, of you know, really in the first minutes, it is what, what was that? You, know, you cite a, a magnitude 7.1 earthquake, that's a a computation, a calculation that comes out of, uh, you know, comes out of our, our shop and working with colleagues. And, you know, in the first minutes, it's really a matter of what was that? Where was that? And how big was it? Really basic information. But as people go about trying to figure out how to respond, that becomes tremendously uh, important. Tell me about uh, the U.S. array. Uh, this is a series of facilities, research facilities, essentially, sensors that are all around Alaska, and they've been um, deployed all across the United States as well, but uh, they're here in Alaska at this point. Uh, what do you learn? What, what really is the U.S. Array, and uh, how important it, is it for your research, and not just for knowing more things, but also for application uh, to the kinds of issues and challenges that interest you? So let's take the first part of your question there. Um, a little bit of history. Um, seismology in or earthquake science in Alaska really got its jump start after the 1964 earthquake. Not, not a surprise. There were fledgling efforts prior to that. But after 1964, uh, several different groups, agencies began to take earthquake monitoring reporting kind of in a serious way and we began to put out uh, networks of instrumentation that would facilitate that right if you can't record it you can't really there's, there's no data to work with um, but those were very scattershot uh, opportunistic um, funding driven kinds of decisions one year maybe we'd uh, be able to put in some instrumentation in the Denali region and another year maybe down in the you know the Yakutat area or whatnot there was never much of a we've never had the opportunity to step back and kind of take a, a holistic view of the the network that underpins all of this this research and monitoring okay fast forward to 2014 and a major National Science Foundation project 
uh, rolled into Alaska and essentially did exactly that. They said, you know what? For our earth science, for our, our research purposes, we're going to put out a grid of instrumentation. We're literally going to space out instrumentation evenly across the state uh, for a couple of years because it was a research project. They were going to collect data, you know, they wanted, and then uh, you know, go off and uh, do research on that in the years to come. Um, and that happened. That has that whole facility, that grid of 270 instruments came into being and is a, has been a complete and utter game changer in our world, particularly in areas outside of South Central. So the Alaska Peninsula, Western Alaska, Northern Alaska, the Brooks Range, places where we have earthquakes. And we've always kind of known they were there. We can, we can tell something's happening. It's like hearing... Uh, you know, thunder and knowing that, oh, there must, be a, there must be a storm over the horizon. Can't really see it, but it's over there. And uh, US Array, the US Array facility uh, has given us that ability to, to be there where it's happening and to record, you know, record, record that data. What would you say to a young person, let's pick a seventh grader, uh, what would you say to that young person if he or she asked you, uh, why should I become a seismologist? What would you say about the work you do that could inspire that young person to follow in your path? That's a heavy load. <laughs> um, you got to connect with something, you know, whatever scientific discipline is, it is that works for you. But the other thing I would say is, Make sure you're doing something that matters. There are a lot of choices in the, in the world of science about where you can apply your time and talent. And I think there's a lot to be gained from specifically seeking out things where you say, you know what, I think I, think I can make a difference there. And yeah, I happen to think seismology, earthquake science, tsunamis, et cetera, are certainly a place where you can do that. Well, Michael, thank you. Uh, I think your, your comment there is very powerful and applies to your work, but also to many other fields of study where young people uh, can, uh, can make a difference, to have a passion uh, for whatever it is they do, uh, and that it matters. Uh, th that's a powerful combination, and I want to thank you very much. It's clear that you have the passion, and the work you're doing matters, and I want to thank you for that, and thank you for your time and this interesting conversation. Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Michael.